Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Vlogtober. If you're new here, my name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns, I teach knitting workshops online and in person, and I sell yarns from my website yarnaddict.co.uk. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. So in today's episode, as I was editing it this morning, I realised I hadn't filmed an introduction. So I'll, I'm just going to share a few of the things that have happened in the last three days. Uh, walking the dog, what I've been knitting, what I've been sewing, um, and a little bit of a glimpse from the knitting hotel where I was teaching yesterday. So I hope you liked this video. Um, before I show you the rest of the video, I'm just going to show you this lovely present that uh, Blinda brought me back from India. So she said, oh, this would be perfect for your sock knitting. I think it's too glamorous for sock knitting maybe, but it's gorgeous. Look at this. It's a little Indian bag. Um, it has like a drawstring top, draw, drawstring top, is that what it's called? So you can tighten it um, and then open it. And then it's got, an, oh, it's got plastic inside it. Uh, it's got enough room to hold things like my phone and daily essentials for like a night out or something. But it's also got enough room for like my sock knitting if I decide to use it for sock knitting. And if I want to use it for sock knitting, it hangs quite nicely on my arm so I can knit. Um, while I'm standing or walking around. It's made from beautiful blue fabric with gold embroidery, I think it is, and this lovely pearl um, handle. So absolutely gorgeous. Uh, thank you very much, Belinda, if you watch this. I really, really like it. It is just absolutely gorgeous. So very, very grateful for that. Thank you to Belinda at the Knitting Hotel for that. Um, okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you in the next Vlogtober video. Alfie, we're going to go walking. Does he look like he wants to go walking? Look. Oh, can't see him. He's fast asleep. Oh, there we go. Here's my crochet blanket, which he's not allowed to use. We're going to go walking. Gosh, it's so dark and it looks like it's middle of the night, but it is 10 o'clock. Should we go walking? Come on then, walking. Yeah, he's not keen. It is um, what day is it? It's Wednesday afternoon, and um, I thought I would try and get back into doing some proper vlogging for this Vlogtober video. So it is Wednesday afternoon, and I've been not done much work today. I recorded the podcast this morning, um, first thing, and then I walked the dog, had a break, went to Pilates. Vanessa, my daughter, picked me up after Pilates. We went down to Lou, had lunch. Um, ran some errands and then came back and now I'm trying to get my podcast edited before I go and sit down and knit and while I'm doing it I am casting off the first hand warmer so I'm doing the sewn cast off which I have a tutorial for so I will link that below and at the end of this video if I can um, but I'm just casting that off while I'm editing this video and hopefully I'll be able to cast on for the second one as well while I'm while I'm editing this video. And then I'm going to go start uploading that to YouTube because it's supposed to go live tomorrow. And I'm a little bit behind this week. So I'm trying to edit it now and then uh, upload it to YouTube. Um, and then um, I can go downstairs and knit and watch telly. And my, I don't know whether I've mentioned it in Vlogtober, but my life in the UK book has arrived. I am getting ready to apply for British citizenship. I have to do a language test, which I've worked out. The nearest one they do is Bristol, which is like three hours drive away, at least three, three and a half hours drive away. So that's going to be fun. Um, 
I don't, I'm not worried about passing the, the English test. It's just a nuisance having to take it. Um, but I have to read this. And it starts, I actually bought it as a um, Kindle book. I started reading it, but it's a lot of, I find stuff like this easier to read. Um, if I'm reading an actual book and then some can quiz me on stuff. But it starts about, that's a picture of Stonehenge. Starts from 4,000 years ago. Then it goes into the Romans, the Anglo-Saxons, and there's something like a paragraph on each, the Vikings, the Norman Conquest, Middle Ages, that's as far I got to, uh, Black Death, Tudors and the Stuarts, the War of Roses, Six Wives of Henry VIII, Reformation in Scotland, Mary Queen of Scots, James the Sixth and First, I think it is, King James Bible, some stuff on Ireland, the Enlightenment, and then eventually goes into some useful stuff. And then at the end, it's got stuff which I think would be useful. Um, but supporting political parties, driving uh, your role in the community, national insurance, forced marriage, uh, domestic violence, equal opportunities, legal advice, role of the courts, respecting the law, UK and international institutions, government, British Constitution, that's the picture of the Queen, who's obviously no longer with us. Uh, de development of British Democracy. It's got a London Eye in there. Um, it's got some like famous landmarks. Jones Causeway, Edinburgh Castle, then the um, Eden Project, which is local to me. That's just on the road, Big Ben. Just got like various places of interest famous british films stuff about leisure shopping notable authors and writers first one is jane austen i know a lot about her i don't know much about the others um fashion design british notable british artists arts and culture stuff sports stuff bank holidays religious festivals customs and traditions cities of the uk it's got the royal Dahl, which um, it's actually Norwegian. He was born in Wales to so Norwegian parents, but um, yeah, he's he's in here. Um, it's quite funny because we're all though in this country is mostly known for his children's books, I think, or at least that's what my husband kind of mostly knew him at. And um, in Norway, he's mostly known for thrillers, I think. It's got stuff about Second World War, Partition of Ireland. So it's a um, those are stuff, but the, I think the test is only like 20 something questions. Um, anyway, I've got to read that and learn it and then book my test. Anyway, better get back to editing this video. It is Thursday afternoon, evening. Um, I finally, this afternoon, decided that I was going to do the lining for this bag, which has been finished for well over a week. So this is my glamour clutch. I use purple, the Atagon Marina cotton colour 1800. Don't think there's any more of this in the shop at the moment. I have this only ball left which I've taken out of the shop because I'm going to knit this clutch in these two colours next. So this afternoon I've been out all day, um, worked a little bit this morning just to um, get ready for my workshop tomorrow and write my newsletter and then I walked the dog and then I went into Plymouth with my daughter and we had lunch, did some shopping, came back, sat down to do some knitting I was scrolling on my phone for ages and then I thought, no, let's just get this lining done. So when I got my sewing machine 
and um, the, the uh, felt cut the pieces for this one and I'll show you the knitting there in a minute and then because I'm going to knit another one of these I actually cut and sewed the lining for that as well so that is all ready for when I knit the new version uh, the new version is going to have beads on it as well I'm knitting it just because I want another colour and because I need to check the yarn requirements because when I knitted this I ran out of the pink um, but I don't think the wool was full when I started and then of course I forgot to weigh it before I put everything together so anyway I'm waiting for some of these clutch frames to come um, they're on order they should be here soon hopefully and then once they're here I can put them on the website and I also should be able to offer some kits and eat order some more yarn as well what I want to know is if I'm going to offer kits do you want me to include the felt it's synthetic felt that I bought from Amazon I can try and get enough to do include felt as well you can use felt you can use uh, cotton fabric if you use cotton fabric I recommend you um, add some interfacing to it so that it gives it a little bit more kind of body and then that means that the clutch can stand up on its own when it's um, open and um, I bought this um, felt on Amazon and it's quite thick and then I don't need to worry about in interfacing or anything like that so let me show you. I finished the first one of my um, fashion flower mittens. Um, this is a pattern I designed a few years ago. I don't know what's happened to the original sample, which I knitted in Crazy Sample Ball. Um, I think maybe I lost it wearing it when I was walking the dog or something. But anyway, I'm knitting them again in this um, Allegria. Allegria? How do you pronounce it? I heard you pronounce on the Spanish video this morning, and I'm sure he pronounced it Alegria. But I've been saying Alegria, so I need to look that up. Um, but I think this is a little bit busy to show off the stitch pattern. So I'm going to knit the smallest size in a solid colour, I think, or maybe in the Zabba ball, regular Zabba ball. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, that's the first one, which fits me. And I have... Oh, I have cast on. I didn't think I'd cast on for the second one. I've cast on for the second one just after that. So I'm going to knit on that tonight. So hopefully, tomorrow I'm teaching all day. Hopefully, I'll get that done on Saturday. And then I can knit the smallest size. And then next week, I'd like to knit the other version of that. And then get on to something else. Because I've done a lot of small projects now. Just to kind of catch up and knit extra samples and all that kind of stuff. So I'd like to get on to something else. I'm sitting in my car. Uh, I'm on my way to the knitting hotel and I'm just a few minutes early so I'm just relaxing in the car for a few minutes and I thought I'd show you 
what I've got in my glamour, glamour clutch this morning. So the ones I've made up till now, I mainly use as project bags, which they're really good at. But I also want to show that they can be used as like a handbag. So because I've got two tote bags with me today for my workshop, I didn't really want to carry a handbag as well, because one of my tote bags not full, so I can pop this in my tote bag. Um, but then I've got everything I need in here that would normally go in my handbag. So opens quite easily. I have my um, card holder in there. I have a face mask because I still wear that occasionally. I've got a thing with some um, essential oils and my eye drops and um, a couple other things in there. Then I got another pouch with lip balm, uh, medication, hand sanitizer, hand cream, lipstick, things like that. And then I have, this is really good, um, deep lipstick. I use that on my neck a lot. It's very good when I get neck pain or neck tension or headaches. So I always carry that with me. Then I, I've been using this. Um, I got this one, then I, got, I tried one, I think it's Vicks as well, this one. Um, I don't like the Vicks one, it makes my nose feel a bit funny, but this one I quite like. It's uh, supposed to stop you catching like colds and viruses. Well, it's just a train going past here, because I'm indoors by the train line. So I always carry this in my handbag, and when I'm in places where I'm not wearing a mask, I'm teaching, or like yesterday, I was shopping and I didn't wear a mask because I was just too hot, I used that. Got some hairbands, tissues and some pens and is that it a comb and my earbuds which i don't know where i've got those because i don't need those today i'm going to take my comb out because i will need that in a minute so let's just pop all this back in and then shut it it is a bit heavier because obviously it's quite full but it easily fits in there i can also easily fit my phone in there as well um, so you can use this just as like a normal bag um, if you carry like a bigger bag and you want something like a tote bag for work or something you want just something smaller to hold all your stuff or you can just use it as a tote bag uh, as a clutch bag pop it under your arm or just carry it for running errands nights out all kinds of stuff so I'm at the knitting hotel I'm actually in Dawlish I got it a few minutes early so I drove down to the seafront and then I realised I don't actually, because quite often when I get here early I will get out, if it's sunny like it is today, I will get out and go for a walk along the seafront. I realised I don't really have time to do that and I need to actually head up the hill. Knitting is toes just behind me here but I've got to go back and up the other road. I'm going to try and film a little bit behind the scenes today but it is brioche so I might get too busy and forget but I will try and do my best. So thank you for watching today's video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing and you can watch all the previous vlogtober videos on my web on my youtube channel and also my last podcast episode which was last 
Thursday and which I talk more about what I've been knitting this week. The next video on my channel will hopefully be a Vlogtober episode on Tuesday and uh, where I will share what I get up to over the weekend and on Monday. I've no idea what we're doing. Uh, this weekend uh, it's not very great weather it's dry now I think it was raining earlier and I think it's showery today I think it's supposed to be better tomorrow so hopefully we might get a bit more out and about done tomorrow but I will share that in the next vlogtober video thank you for watching don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already see you next time